Hello everyone and welcome to Experiment Q Weekly, a YouTube series with team updates and backstage stories from a podcast world tour. My name is Tudor and I'm the podcast producer here at Experiment Q. This episode is called Minus Five because there are five more weeks before we give away the keys from our French apartment in Paris uh, and we venture on a 12-month non-stop world tour to create a podcast about learning and education innovations around the world. In this episode, I would love to focus on a few basic questions. What? Why? And what's next? Now, what is Experiment Q? Experiment Q is a Dutch nonprofit research lab on a mission to make lifelong learning the social standard. Now, what do I mean by that? Right now, if you are at the party and someone asks, what's your education? Probably you ask with your most recent paper, like a high school or a bachelor degree or a master or a PhD. And for millions of people, this paper is not a real reflection of their learning experiences or, or their skills. So our goal is to create a, a digital summary of all the learning experiences that a person has in their life and fit that um, digital identity into your smart device, but also into um, a physical card, an NFC card that you can use in your interactions with other people organizations and, and governments in, in your country of residence, but also globally. So it's kind of your uh, real-time education ID. It's a big goal and there are a lot of challenges to it to overcome security, privacy, um, the, the, the interface of how this identity would uh, interact with other services, being it public, from public or private sector and so on. So we'll have 12 months to explore these ideas, to talk about them and, and to see what's next and how we, do we bring it to life. Now, why is it important? And, and here I can tell my own story. So although I was a good high school and college student in Republic of Moldova, I dropped out in the first semester of the university. And ever since I traveled through many countries doing tech and, and service related projects. As long as I had Wi-Fi and coffee, I was fine. And then something happened because of the relationship, I moved to Paris, France, and I discovered an organization called Cree Paris. And they had a program which was called uh, EdTech Master. Uh, and, and I was invited to participate in that program. Uh, and my answer was, well, I don't have a bachelor degree. I cannot do a master. Luckily for me, in France, there is a law called Validation d'Aquis, which basically translates in validation of life experiences. And I immediately thought to myself, wow, if we can turn to millions of people that didn't perform well academically, and we tell them, hey, we recognize the way you learn is unique. We recognize that you have multiple learning sources or experiences, that your skills and, and the competences are not necessarily coming just from schooling. And, and we create something uh, that we give them and say, hey, you can document all your learning experiences, put them together, and have a way to represent who you are, what your projects are and portfolios and so on. What would be the implication of such a move from rigid papers to something that is more dynamic, that can be edited over time, that is not, you know, put on the wall that this is you and that's, that's your academic result and so on. So this, that's why we created Experiment Q, to basically empower people to express themselves through the multitude of learning experiences that they have through life, not just their schooling performance. Now, all these objectives that I told you and the numbers like millions of people and the lifelong learning ID are big goals and it will take us a lot of time to get there and a lot of technical effort and financial commitments. And before we do that, here is the answer to the third question, which is what's next? We decided before we dive into technical and financial commitments that we should take a step back and look what's 
what's happening around the world in terms of education and learning. That's why we basically give up our flat in Paris and we'll travel for 12 months starting March 1st of 2018 to basically meet innovators in the education space and tell their story on the ground. Almost every week we're in a new country where we find people who do interesting things, things that are outside the box uh, in terms of learning and education, and we sit down to discuss their journey, the way they think, the research behind their initiative, the challenges they face, the, the way they find solutions, and, and so much more. And um, that's, that's it, basically. That's the reason for this uh, weekly update. This is number minus five. There are four more to come. And then from March 1st, we'll have you know week one, week two, where we share what's happening uh, in the background of our podcast tour. There are three key uh, features of this tour that I want to mention. First, that is always on the ground. We might have some online interventions like Skype calls and so on that will be recorded as podcast shows. Um, but mostly we report on the ground. We, we go, we meet the community, we sit down and we record on audio and video a conversation with them. Second, think of this as kind of a reality show in a sense that we strive to share almost everything that we do uh, for this show. Like what's the budget? How do we finance it? Uh, how do we arrive to a local city? What's the local culture like? Uh, what are some of the challenges that we face, and, and so on. And the third is that you, the Experiment Q community, have the power over this show. You can suggest places we can go. Uh, you can look at our financials. You can make a donation. You can come with ideas of how to improve this weekly updates or, or the podcast episode, and so much more. So it's always on the ground, is live and transparent, and, and the community has power to decide over the format and, and the way we go around the world. For the next week, which is minus four, uh, we have some goals. First, uh, there is a new episode coming up uh, that will be recorded on February 1st in London with Minerva Schools. Uh, if you want to check previous episodes, which are eight by now, go to experimentq.org slash podcast or go to SoundCloud and look for Experiment Q and check the, uh, the episodes that are already uploaded. And if you want to see how we record episode number nine from London, please connect on Instagram and Twitter uh, at Experiment Q and, and uh, be in touch with us. And uh, that's basically it for uh, week minus five. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below this video on YouTube and make sure to subscribe using the, the red button there which uh, says uh, subscribe. So thank you very much for this improvised first episode with the podcast mic and a video recorded at home. You can see the library. And I'm um, looking forward to weekly update minus four. Best. <laughs>